In Isaiah chapters 27 and 28, we find a mix of tough words about judgment and hopeful words about restoration. It's like looking at two sides of the same coin. On one side, we see the consequences of turning away from God, and on the other is God's never-ending promise to bring his people back to him. In Isaiah 27 verse 1, it starts with a picture of God dealing with evil, like a mighty warrior taking on a fearsome monster. In that day, the Lord will punish with his sword, his fierce, great, and powerful sword, Leviathan, the gliding serpent, Leviathan, the coiling serpent, he will slay the monster of the sea. This image is all about God taking control and showing his power over all things, even the most terrifying of things. But then the tone shifts and we hear about God's care for his people, like a gardener looking after his vineyard. Listen to what it says in verse three. The Lord will water them. He will care for them continually. He will care for the vineyard like his own. He will water it day and night. It's a comforting reminder that no matter how tough things get, God is always looking out for us. Isaiah 28 talks about the consequences of Israel's and Judah's actions, their pride and their turning away from God. But even there, in the middle of the warnings, there's a promise. Therefore, this is what the sovereign Lord says. Look, I am placing a foundation stone in Jerusalem, a firm and tested stone. It is a precious cornerstone that is safe to build on. Whoever believes need never be shaken. First Peter chapter two tells us that this is about Jesus who came to be the solid ground that we can all build our lives on. So as we read these chapters, it's like we're getting a reminder that even when times are tough, it feels like we're being corrected. God's got a plan to bring us back and give us a solid place to stand. It's about hope in the middle of hard times, and the promise that with God, we always have something strong to hold on to.